and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you one way to create a vignette. There are many ways to do it, but this one's fairly simple and quickly done. Let me copy the original, I'll rename that. Make sure that you've got it selected, then go to filters, light and shadow, and there you find the vignette option. You've got the blending options right here, but I'll show you that afterwards. Let's first check the preview and we can see the effect applied in real time. You can adjust all of these values right here, but you can also just drag these crucial points and nodes within the vignette directly and the values are adjusted accordingly. Let me show this with the gamma line right here. You can see how this value is adjusted in real time. If you're wondering how you can reposition that, so if you don't want to have it in center, there's also an option right here for center X and center Y for the X and Y axis. And you can also link it. So let me activate the link icon. And if I adjust one value, the other one is adjusted as well. Let me use maybe something like this and we have two more options that are important. You can change the color right here, so by default it's black, but you can basically choose any color that you want. And in a drop down we can use different shapes, for example a square, a diamond. But let's stick to the circle. And now let's get back to the blending options. Most of the time you don't want to have this vignette set to 100. So you can adjust it right here directly, but we don't have to do it. Let me set it back to 100. We've got the option for the layer right here and we can adjust the opacity and blend it with the original like this. And this is how you can create a vignette in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.